tutorial I will do the first exercise using CMask, that is the full mask editor. If you have seen the uh, tutorial number 5, uh, you remember that there is a mask wizard that uh, allows you to create uh, very quickly a user interface but with a uh, predefined structure of user interface, while CMask has no restrictions, so basically corresponds to the mask editor of one tool. The purpose of the first exercise is simply to give you an overview on the editor, so we will manage just one mask where we will show the input, inputs, the outputs and the operating parameters of the previous exercise, that is uh, the water temperature, the, the compressor's status, uh, set point and proportional band. This slide shows the most significant differences compared to one tool. CMask supports only PGD1 display, 8 rows, 22 columns, some names are different, uh, class for example instead of field, uh, it supports uh, all 32-bit variables, uh, so almost all these variables with the exceptions of uh, time date uh, and string variables. There is a new object, uh, the scrollable text object. Uh, um, the language used to define the function of the keys is the ST language, the same used in the strategy, even if it is simplified, so not all keywords are supported. Uh, there is a little bit different way to bind the code, that is the function of a key, to a key. And there is a new flow to create a special class, that is a special field in one tool. Well, let's start the exercise. I can start opening from the tools, open CMask. Here we have the Solution Explorer, specific for the user interface. We have a default worksheet with an empty mask. Properties is the properties. Classes is the node where the place where we can create new special fields that here are called classes. Here we can write the code to bind later with this editor to a specific key. And then uh, in the toolbox we have the object uh, to, that we can place uh, in the worksheet uh, here and the object uh, we can place uh, in the mask. So in this exercise uh, we have to show in the only mask that we have uh, um, the status of input, uh, the output uh, and uh, the operating parameters. So we can start showing some uh, fixed text, uh, some text, drag and drop, double click, water inlet temperature another text set point and so on here are all objects that I can move obviously now beside we have to show the value of the variables so we have to place a variable object in one tool was called field, the variable we want to show, here is a water in temperature, now repeat for all other variables, set point, another one, proportional, proportional band, double click, here below the compressor one, now before to place uh, other uh, variables for uh, the other compressor, I can edit the properties of uh, these variables. So we can change the number of figures uh, to use uh, to show the number as well as the, uh, let's say the direction uh, in output, input output that is uh, read only or read write. To do this, uh, there aren't specific uh, classes or fields in one tool, but uh, there is the format property. The syntax of the format is very simple. Input, output, one character for the sign, three figures before the dot and one figure after the dot. 
So we are sh showing uh, the inlet temperature. I believe that uh, two integer figures are enough uh, and would be better to show two decimal figures. So we can uh, edit uh, uh, this time using the support windows. So input, input output, no, is uh, only output because it uh, doesn't make sense to change the temperature from the mask. Uh, only two integer uh, figures and two decimal figures. I can't change uh, the number of figures because in the new version of C Suite it is possible to set for the variables the number of decimal. So the default uh, is one, so I can change it to two. It is also possible to define the limits, so I can take the opportunity to change the limits of the variables. Does make sense to change uh, the limit of the temperature because uh, okay, it is uh, a value that comes from the probe. Makes sense to change the limits for set point and the differential. One, two, six. Looks good. Save. So now I expect that. Uh, here I am able to increase, uh, in fact, here is from one to two figures. Uh, set point, uh, set point uh, two integer figures are enough, uh, one decimal looks good, input output that's good. Differential, differential can reduce the number of figures. This time I will change directly from the text box. Uh, not two, just one is enough. Uh, input output, uh, that's correct. Input output. So enter. There is. So here we have the preview of the format. R stands for real. B stands for boolean. Uh, lowercase reminds that the, the format is only output, while uppercase reminds input output. I can change also the variable for the compressor from input output to only output. Now I can copy and paste, paste again, paste once again and change the name of the variable. From comp1 to 2, comp1 to 3, 1, 2, 4. Well, that's all for the uh, first exercise. Well, now I can uh, simulate uh, before I build very fast and then uh, start simulator. If this list is not visible, we can click this uh, watch variables to show the list of the variables. Let's set set point to 12. We can change values also from here. So proportional band 4. Enter. I have to leave the cell here is in order to accept the value. Uh, now let's increase the temperature. So 13 degrees. Okay, one compressor on, we can see it also here, 14, two compressors, 13, no mistake, it's 15, three compressors, and 16, four compressors, okay. That's all, we can test uh, other things because uh, there is just one mask. Um, so for this exercise it's all, in the next exercise we will see how to create more masks, use the keys uh, and so on.